when you come on, when you were talking to people, um, you know, at an event or is it, is it hard to communicate because the, the technology is there? Like, like what, what you, you say about Amazon, so we can use their name. Um, yeah. Amazon system is unbelievable but explaining their system is can be unbelievably difficult. <laughs> yeah. So how do you approach that? Like I know like I see here with admit it it says on your website uh it's uh is an integrated system admit is an integrated system of software and hardware to optimize the delivery and storage of materials and inventory. So that you've got a software and a hardware component. Now yes. I, I literally have pictures of people in my head that I would be trying to explain this to after this interview and I would see their eyes glaze over. Like I can actually yeah. see that I know who I'd be talking to. Yeah. How do you, how do you explain it to people? Because it's a huge value add. I mean, there is no doubt about that. Anybody who's worked with Amazon knows it, but you still have to have that communication component. How do you approach that? Yeah, that's a, that's an excellent question, Jared. And um, we, we come across that quite a bit. And it comes down to this, and I think you've touched on it already. Most of us, if not all of us, have had some form of experience interaction with Amazon, right? And more often than not, it's a positive experience. Mm -hmm. When we think of Amazon, we think of um, an ability to order materials or order our, our, our products easily, right? Through mobile applications or on our computers. We know that when we order, that the materials are going to arrive to us on the day that they say it will. So when it says it should arrive between these two days or in two days, we, we're pretty confident that that's going to happen, correct? And while it's in that journey, we know that we can check the app, we can track it. We know that it's left the fulfillment center or that it is uh, in Toronto on its way to Sudbury, which is where I am, or uh, if it hasn't even been fulfilled yet. Right. So we can kind of get visibility into that, that process, right? So that whole experience and that, that um, those three components I just talked about is exactly what we're trying or not even trying, what we are building, uh, emulating with admit. So in that admit system, think of it that way. We have software and hardware that allows you to A, know when you have material requirements, you can easily order that through mobile tablets, cell phones, computers. Uh, everything is taken care of in the back end through our admit server. We know that the material or what you've ordered is going to arrive to you in the day that it says it would. We can track it along its way. We have the capability to overlay that on a Google map almost, and you can see the pathway. You can see exactly where your materials are at. And the nice part is that as you're using the materials, as you pull materials in and out of these, uh, containers, these smart cubes, we then update the system, the central system automatically. So we know we have true understanding as to what material you have, what's your inventory level, where it is, and we can control who has access to it. Mm. And the and the last part, if I will, is the, de the, the dependable delivery again. And that's where you have the autonomous delivery part, right? Knowing that we can now deliver these materials to the mine face to the underground warehouse or wherever it is that it's, it's destined to go and it's going to arrive when it says it should.